Guild Wars 3 is the answer. Hey guys, so that's what I said in my last video. Go give it a watch if you haven't seen it. It might give you some more context on what I'm going to talk about today. You guys had some opinions about that statement, and I'm super glad you did. I told you guys to tell me where I was wrong, and some of you did not hold back. Let's rewind though. You heard the answer, but what was the question? The question was, what do you think Guild Wars 2 can do not to be in danger of losing their foothold as being the go-to MMO in the genre for insane quality of life, respecting players' time, and getting straight to the fun? You already know my answer. Here's what a lot of you guys had to say though, which was super smart and constructive by the way, so thank you all for your comments. Many of you echoed to me why Guild Wars 2 was an outstanding MMO and didn't need a sequel just yet. And to be fair, I think many of you guys are right, but I also think I'm right. So how can we reconcile this? Well, that's why I want to dive deeper into what I mean when I say Guild Wars 3 should be on ArenaNet's radar and soon. So let's start by talking about what I didn't mean when I said Guild Wars 3 was the answer. I didn't mean that Guild Wars 2 was bad and therefore we need Guild Wars 3. In fact, I think Guild Wars 2 is a game that could easily go on for 10 more years sort of on a trajectory similar to World of Warcraft. Guild Wars 2 is still an amazing game for all the reasons I covered in my recent video that you can click on here in the top corner. In that video, I try to convince my buddy Scott, a longtime WoW player, to give Guild Wars 2 a shot. If you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know I am a huge Guild Wars 2 advocate and believe it still stands out as one of the best MMOs in the genre, for the time being. And in my opinion, Guild Wars 2 will always have a strong enough base to keep the lights on and going strong. When I say Guild Wars 3 is the answer, I am not saying ArenaNet shouldn't follow through with their fourth scheduled expansion for Guild Wars 2, with one caveat. As long as this is the last expansion and it comes out in the next two years, minimum. They can't wait another five years like they did the last time around. However, with Colin in charge, I don't think that they will make the mistake of waiting that long again. If they bring out the next expansion in two years time, they should have enough wiggle room to get the hype rolling for a Guild Wars 3 launch before some of the newer MMOs are about to hit the market. And following up End of Dragons with another solid expansion could be just what Anet needs to convince the player base, but more importantly NCSoft, that they are ready for a new launch title. The conclusion of the Dragon Saga gives them a chance to set up a new compelling overarching story in the fourth expansion that could be carried over into Guild Wars 3. Okay, with all that out of the way, let me explain what I do mean when I say Guild Wars 3 is the answer. I hope we can find some middle ground here and I can show you that me advocating for Guild Wars 3 is not a slight at Guild Wars 2. Many of the comments were to the effect that Guild Wars 2's graphics and art style is still passable and relevant in this day and age. And I 100% agree with you, but hear me out. My take is more, let's say three years from now, there is no Guild Wars 3 in sight, and there are new MMOs hitting the market that have borrowed almost everything from Guild Wars 2 that makes it unique. What is a new player with no brand loyalty going to do? Choose a 12 year old game or a new game on Unreal Engine 5 with similar features and mount systems. It's not even a discussion really. Again, if Anet doesn't want to make a Guild Wars 3, that's fine. They will just be saying in essence we are okay fading into the sunset with our current player base and that's okay. I have a feeling the gym store is doing just fine. So I can see NCSoft letting ArenaNet service the current Guild Wars 2 players for as long as they would like to. And hey, I'll still keep playing as long as Guild Wars 2 is around, even if they don't come out with the Guild Wars 3. But let's switch gears for a second. I want to approach this from a different angle. I know this may be hard to believe, but I actually have an executive level wife who is in the business world. She was explaining to me the concept of product life cycles and it was fascinating how this applies to even video games. The product life cycle follows the biological life cycle. For example, a seed is planted, the introduction stage of a product. The seed germinates, the growth stage of a product. Roots take hold and form an eventual adult tree, the maturity stage of a product 
And finally, the plant shrivels and dies out, the decline stage of a product. I believe Guild Wars 2 is in the maturity stage of the product life cycle. The maturity stage is the best period of stabilization and profit for a product. However, this is also the stage where stringent competition tries to move into your space and capture your market share and even acquire your customers. Does this sound familiar? WoW has been on such a decline that they are now trying to go after the market share of Guild Wars 2 and they won't be the only game to do so. The phase that I think Guild Wars 2 is in danger of falling into is the decline phase. The decline phase of a product is marked by market saturation, for example other MMOs stealing your features and philosophies, and it's also marked by the introduction of new, superior technologies that your company is just not equipped to compete with. Unreal Engine 5 and other custom game engines are on the horizon. Graphical fidelity is going to continue to increase exponentially. Guild Wars 3 will allow ArenaNet to adopt new technology and iterate even more by pushing the envelope on what features an MMO can deliver. If Guild Wars 2 maintains the status quo, it will enter the decline phase. Again, please hear me. I am not saying Guild Wars 2 is not a great game at this moment in time, but at some point in the near future, Guild Wars 2 will be restricted by its current technology and game engine. And continuing with the theme of innovation, Guild Wars 3 would give ArenaNet a new vehicle to do what they are amazing at, which is innovate within the MMO genre. ArenaNet has always pushed the boundaries on quality of life and maximizing player fun in a genre that usually makes us crawl through hours of busy work before we can get to the actual fun. I am confident that the team at ArenaNet has some really amazing tricks up their sleeve that the industry hasn't even thought of yet. And wasting these new features on an aging engine would be a shame in my opinion. Guild Wars 2 has one more problem that Guild Wars 3 can solve. Guild Wars in general needs another shot at a first impression. Guild Wars 2 fumbled that opportunity the first time around and has never been able to fully recover. You know I'm right. This game had the potential to be a juggernaut in the space, but sadly hasn't realized its potential. In the same way Guild Wars 2 is trying to get all their ducks in a row before their Steam launch for a good impression, a new title in the form of Guild Wars 3 would I believe send shockwaves into the MMO universe and players who weren't grabbed by Guild Wars 2 the first time around would line up for a new first impression of the Guild Wars franchise. But hey, whatever ArenaNet decides to do with their franchise, I will still be a fan of this game. I made this channel because I enjoyed talking about Guild Wars 2 and other MMOs, and in particular I like talking about the big picture concepts in regard to the MMO space as a whole. This genre can go in so many different directions and with all the new tech on the horizon, I'm super excited to see where it goes. There's going to be so much cool stuff to talk about, and I hope you guys hang around for the ride with me. Well regardless, I honestly look forward to all of your comments down below. Let me know how wrong I am. Again, thanks guys.